Yeah, 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 yeah. So, there we go. There we go. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, everybody? Dude, I hope everything's working on here good. I'm in live from New York. Of course, I've got to have my, 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 uh, what they call it, my, my hotel, my hotel voice. So I still got all the energy. I'm still super excited. I'm still super glad to be here. But I got to speak with a little bit of, a little bit of sultriness. Right, we gotta have a little bit of sultriness when we're in the hotel because we don't want to wake everybody up. We don't want to get security up in here, get mad at me like they did in Vegas. Can you believe that? Of all the places that I have done a show, the one place where I had security called on me for being too loud was Las Vegas, Nevada. Are you kidding me? That's just silly. That's just silly. The more I think about that, the more silly that is. What's up, man? I hope you guys are all doing well. Today is. February 7th, and it's also a, uh, hold on, I gotta bring this up a little bit, it's driving me nuts. Today is February 7th, it is also a Thursday. Today is Thursday, February 7th, 2019, that's right, Thursday, February 7th, 2019, and what's awesome is it is the first and very last time it'll ever be. Thursday, February 7th, 2019. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most out of this incredible day. And I got to tell you, I personally am going to do just that. I am going to make the absolute most of this incredible day. I know that for a fact. How can I know that for a fact? Well, because I'm here in New York City. I am here in New York City where I am going to share the stage tonight with some incredible human beings, including my man, Eric Thomas. This is a big award ceremony that Brian Benstock put together for his team because they hit some really incredible elite numbers, and he has flown in. He's got people coming in from Google. He's got people coming in from Facebook. He has... Um, the uh, like the the president of Honda. I mean, some of the most incredible, high up, influential people. Uh, Sean Wolfington's coming in from Miami. There's just uh, the guest list goes on and on. Over 300 people at the Classic Car Club here in New York City, sitting right on the Hudson River. Now, this Classic Car Club is one neat, neat, neat deal. It's where the people come together here in uh, New York. If you're a part of the Classic Co Car Club, they have old Ferraris and Lamborghinis and like all these classic high-end sports vehicles and if you're part of the club then you get to go drive those suckers anytime you want you can just go grab one for whatever which is stinking cool but you pay a premium that's for sure to be a part of the club so the venue is going to be beautiful the the layout's beautiful the lighting's beautiful the stage is set and I'm going to jump up there on stage today tonight and I get to speak with some of the greats. So I'm super excited about it. I'm going to take the bull by the horns. And it's going to be great. Last night I had dinner with um, Hank Norman and Lauren. For those of you that don't know, Hank Norman and Lauren are with a part of a company called Two Market Media. Hank himself actually put together. He was the guy who produced and created the show The View. You guys know The View? I'm sure you know the show The View. He produced and created the show The View. He's been in TV here in New York for a long time. I actually grew up in a small town, but he's been in TV here in New York for a really long time and is just an incredible human being. Him and Lauren, I sat with them last night and they 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 asked me, you know, like, are you scared? What are you going to talk about? How are things going? So on and so forth. And uh, I got to tell you, man, I love... I, I I love what I do. I love traveling around. I love speaking. Yes, it can be. Uh, there's an excitement level that comes with that. But I, I, I do. I really, I love it. And another thing that I love is these things called God winks, right? These God winks where you, when you know you're in the exact right place at the exact right 
time. And we had another God wink this morning when I opened up my planner and my rise and grind planner this morning says, I am not afraid. I was born to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, think about, put yourself in my position. Okay. Put yourself in my shoes for just a second. You know, I've always kind of had a passion for speaking. I've always had a passion for uh, leading and helping and guiding. And, you know, obviously I got my show and all the things that I do here. And I left, man. I left my job. I left my comfy, cozy, secure uh, job with great people at a great company. And I, I left that place. Even though my wife was, was having a baby any day now, which that, that baby just turned three months old yesterday. So I left that comfortable place for very uncomfortable living, okay? What I'm doing now is a, is, is a lot different. I got I to gotta book gigs. I got to uh, meet up with people. I got to work the network. I got to get on the stage. I got to travel. I got to do a lot of different things now that I never had to do before. Before, it was just go to the same building, meet up with the same people, and do the kind of the same thing each and every day. And I would get my check, and my family was comfortable, and everybody was secure, right? That was the deal before, but now it's a little bit different. And with it being different, you know, here I'm here I am just a few months ago, the biggest stage I would stand on would be the one, you know, Hustle Hustle and Grand Con. I spoke in front of four hundred people there at Hustle and Grand Con, which uh, I promised you guys a giveaway two days ago, by the way, and I have the winner today, so I'm gonna announce the winner here shortly. Um, but Hustle and Grand Con was a big stage for me, and I spoke there and I loved it. I loved the feeling like when I got afterwards my wife asked me about it and I told her that the hairs on my arms had had stood up when I was speaking and that in that moment I felt like it was what I was born to do and it was a big influencer on why I made the decision to go ahead and leave Dan Cummins because I didn't get the hair on my arm stand up feeling every time I walked into the dealership anymore I used to but I didn't anymore, and I just felt like it was time. It was time for me to move into a new season, a new chapter of my life. And so with what we've got going on today, where I'll now be on stage in front of billionaires from around the world, in front of some of the most successful and highly influential people in the auto industry and beyond, when I talked to Hank and them about it last night, I realized I am not afraid. I was born to do this. And that in itself is an incredible feeling. It is an absolutely incredible feeling. So on that note, why don't we do some dancing? You guys want to dance? What should we dance to today? Should we do the drums? No. Let's do this one. No, 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 no. no. That's, 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 a little, that's a little much. It's a little much for a hotel room in New York. How about this one? This one's always a hit. There's a lot of people here in the group that like this song. And I can understand why. Because this song is dope. It really is. Alright, cool. Hey, for those of you that know, and those of you that don't know, this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. I need you to hit that share button because I believe if we can change the way people start their day, we can make a massive impact on this planet. And sometimes all it takes in order to change the way somebody starts their day is for you to hit that share button. It's also the part of the show where I want you to say good morning to me and I'm going to say good morning to you. Whether you're watching live or on replay, hit the share button, say, say good morning. Can you do it? Can you do it? You can do it. You can do it. Trendy Trenda, good morning. What's up, Gail B. Craft? How you doing, Leanne Ryan Smith? My man Joe Cups up in here. Casey Rossiter. Michelle Murray, how are you? Eric Willeroy. What's up, Janelle Griego? Jessica Terrell. BG Campbell. How are you, girl? How are you, girl? Dickie Everett's up in here. Sandra Benstock's in here. Hello, Janet Wigington. Kurt Allen McFarland. Pow! That's right. Pow! Like that, in case you want to wake pay out. Yeah, I'll wake you up now. That's a Kurt McFarland wake up. Hope everything's going all right in your world, buddy. 
We need to check in a little bit later today. What's up, AJ Anderson? Don Sankey and CC Coates. Leanne Ryan Smith. I think I might have said Leanne twice. What's up, Pam Biddle? Who else is up in here? Let's see. Tabby Negret. Love it. Stephen Jones. Brandy Moo Mao. Moo Mao, am I saying that right? Good morning, Brandy. Good morning, Yvonne Leah. How are you? Amy Box up in here. Michelle. Man, there's all kinds of people in here. I love it. What's up, Anthony Santangelo? He's up in the whole Joe. He's up in the whole Joe. Christopher Campbell. Lisa Guillen. Jeremy Noli. Love it. Hey, man. You guys are all up in here. I hope you're having an incredible morning. It's about to be an incredible, incredible day. So, a couple things we got to go over. Then we'll dive into this a little bit further. First thing that we need to go over is we have this incredible conference coming up. Not sure if you've heard of it or not before, but check it out. Let me just share with you, I am a raving fan advocate of the Hustle and Grind Con. It is truly a revolution in our industry. It's been put together by Sean Hayes, Glenn Lundy, and David Benson. For their first conference, I am totally blown away. Not only did we get great information, we got tons of motivation, but the most important thing, we got a lot of inspiration. I've met people that blew my mind. I didn't know it was possible that people could be this amazing. People I knew online for the last year, they're bigger, better, more real than I thought they'd ever be. Over 400 people that came together that had a passion to grow as one, to help eradicate the negative stigma in the car business. everyone that you build relationships with off of social media was awesome to me. Somebody should come to the Hustle and Grind Con to network, you know, and exchange ideas. I was hanging out with a couple guys from another dealership and they were giving me a couple ideas on things that we should do and a lot of ideas that I had they're going to implement. I strongly encourage you to be here at the next conference. I promise you this, it will absolutely change the game for you. It's nothing like you've ever seen. The Hustle and Grind Conference is definitely a game changer. Dude, you gotta listen to me. If you're watching this show right now, if you are watching this show right now, you have to be at Hustle and Grind Con. You have to be at Hustle and Grind Con, April 4th and 5th. I know you guys are like, Glenn, you're hard selling me. It's first thing in the morning. You're supposed to be motivating me. You're supposed to be inspiring me. You're supposed to be teaching me something. Education, motivation, uh, inspiration. I am. I'm teaching you something right now. It's called taking the opportunity to invest in yourself in the way that it will change your life. You have got to go to Hustle and Grind Con 2019. It is going to be life-changing. Tickets on sale February 10th. That's when the tickets go on sale is February 10th. Hustleandgrindcon.com. However, if you want to stay in a hustle house, okay, the way a hustle house works is we all stay together. We meet together. We have catered breakfast. We have catered dinner. We all stay in a big old mansion. If you want to stay in a hustle house, and attend the event versus staying in a hotel and attending the event, then you can go to hustleandgrindcon.com slash houses right now, not right now during my show, but right after my show, and you can stay in a hustle house and you can go ahead and get your ticket before tickets release. These tickets will sell out, I'm telling you, where I, I believe we're only filling 500 seats because it's really important to us that we keep this thing small and intimate. We want everybody to be able to share their experiences and the relationship. That's what it's all about. So I'm telling you, I am telling you, I am telling you, you do not 
do not want to miss this event. doesn't matter if you're in automotive or not. It is an incredible, incredible event. You're going to want to be a part of it. Somebody that is going to be a part of it because she shared my show two days ago is the wonderful Miss Lindsay I, the lady boss, Miss Lindsay I. Lady boss, Miss Lindsay I, has, Lindsay I has just won herself a ticket. I personally am going to buy her a ticket to Hustle and Grind Con 2019. Congratulations, Miss Lindsay I. It's going to be incredible. I can't wait to see you there. I'll send you a message with some more details. It's going to be amazing. And I'm not sure what just happened, but I lost you guys over on this side, but I believe that you're still there on the other side. Yep, you sure are, which is great. All right, check it out. Also, one other announcement that I want to tap into is I want to make sure that you guys know that my man Joe Calla is going to be on the show tomorrow. I'm going to be here in New York. I'm not sure where he's going to be. He's going to be somewhere. But my man Joe Calla is going to be on the show tomorrow morning. He is an incredible human being. He travels and does tons of speaking himself. He's also an incredible sales trainer. He's very influential in the auto industry and beyond. And most importantly, this dude is just an incredibly kind generous and humble dude and i want you to meet him so he'll be on the show tomorrow morning at 5 30 a.m some of you going to sleep and you don't deserve to be you don't deserve rest you lazy you don't deserve rest rest is for people who work you ain't doing nothing every day you chilling you need to know your why and my why wakes me up every single morning You don't get it. Listen to me very closely. You can write everything down if you want to. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down. But I'm going to tell you something. Life's going to hit you in your mouth and you got to do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knocked out. At the end of your feelings is nothing. But at the end of every principle is a promise. Find a man who's diligent at what he does. And he shall stand before kings and not mean men. Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up, could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. The first level to success in life, listen to me, the very first level, the very first level is you seeing it like it's clear to you. Like you know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. Listen to me, you know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. I didn't come here to make friends. I don't even care if they respect me, I know who I am. I got enough respect for myself. I do not want them to beat me. They're never gonna beat you. They came close to that. And I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you're about to quit. You've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. But this is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, ain't no such thing as tomorrow. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. Chasing your dreams. Doing that thing that you were born to do. That is the message from me to you this morning. That, my, that video right there is from a man, Eric Thomas. I listen to it often. 
Eric Thomas has always been an inspiration to me. I've always listened to his videos. I know, uh, I, I believe I saw Sean Hayes in here this morning. What's up, Sean Hayes? I know Sean Hayes is a big fan of Eric Thomas as well. He's always been an inspiration to him. I also saw a couple names in here I wanted to make sure to say good morning to. I don't see them often. So good morning, Brandy Downs. How are you? And uh, good morning, uh, Leisha Watts. How are you? Robbie Bollinger. Uh, Carrie Lynn Carter, I didn't say that earlier, but I see you in here. What's up, Chris McLaughlin, Michael Thomas, man? You guys have no idea how much I appreciate you being in here and watching the show and going on this journey with me. You know, it's 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 your guys' encouraging words. It's it's when you send me these messages, which you guys do often, when you send me these messages lifting me up and encouraging me to continue to pursue my dreams, it, it means something. It really means something to me. I mean, tonight, I'm going to take Eric Thomas's advice. Eric Thomas says, you know, every day that you push back your dream, it could be, you could be pushing it back. You know, one, one day off could be pushing it back six months or it could be pushing it back, you know, a year or, or, or two years. You just never know that that one day can push you back so far. And so tonight, tonight is the, is, is, like, tonight I get to do what I was born to do. Tonight I'm going to do what I was born to do. I'm going to stand up on stage in front of all these incredible people and I'm going to deliver a message that only I can deliver. I read, I read it for my wife. And it's a little, it's a little edgy, man. It's a, it's a little risky. I mean, there's, 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 some, there's some content in this message that people need to hear, but some of them might not want to hear. But I shared the message with my wife because it came straight from my heart. And my wife's like, Glenn, you got to do this. It's what you were born to do. It's what you were born to do. And she's right. And I will. And as far as fear, the only thing I'm... You know, there's the, there's the little fears that kick in, you know, in the back of your head, the little the little doubtful um, things that pop in the back of your mind, the little voices that say you can't or that you shouldn't or that you might upset. All of that's there, that, that uncomfortableness, that, that awkwardness. And then there's the excuses and the, and the easy path. Well, you could just say this or you could just do this. All of that's there. It all exists. But this morning, I opened my planner, and there's another God wink. We're right there at the top. It says, I am not afraid. I was born to do this. What an incredibly powerful place to be when you're stepping into who you were designed to be. I have to say thank you to Phyllis. Coddle Albright, because Phyllis Coddle Albright, one, two, three, four, October, November, three, Phyllis Albright, three months ago, shared a comment in this group. I asked for people's favorite quotes so that we could put them in a planner, and Phyllis Coddle Albright shared a quote that said, I am not afraid I was born to do this, and that one action that she took three months ago has trickled around, bounced around through the universe, bounced into the planner, bounced onto the printing machine, bounced onto the piece of paper, and bounced into my planner today, Thursday, February 7th, the day that I'm standing on stage in front of the biggest audience that I've ever stand in for, stand, stood in front of at one of the nicest places I've ever stepped in, in New York City, one of the biggest cities in the world, one of the most popular cities in the world, standing in front of CEOs from Google and Facebook and all of that. Today, <laughs> February 7th, Thursday, February 7th, 2019, that quote that she shared on Facebook three months ago landed exactly where it needed to be, which is right in front of me, in my hotel room, the day that I'm going to go after my dream. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that incredible? Man, 
I'm telling you folks, God is good. He is so good. And what he does for me, he'll do for you. He is doing for you. This universe that he, that he creates and, and this puzzle that he puts together, it's not just for me, it's for every single one of you. It's for the Jeff Baker, it's for Trendy Trenda, it's for Vicki Everett, Elizabeth Cohen, B.G. Campbell. We're all here together for a reason. We're going to continue in 2019 to blow up and do some impactful things. And so I just want to say thank you for your encouragement. Go ahead and throw out, go ahead and throw out the prayers for me today that I just knock it out the park. Because I, I, I really want to over-deliver for Brian Benstock. I care so much about him. I care about him deeply. Um, I'll make sure to share. I'll either live stream or, or share or whatever uh, as, I'm, as I'm speaking later. It's going to be incredible, obviously. I'll take lots of pictures and things like that so that I can share the experience with you guys. But I just want you to know that I love you. You guys are really, really making an impact in my world, and I appreciate you. Thank you. You are a child of God. Uniquely made by the God of the universe to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And I want you to take that seriously today. Take some responsibility today. It takes work, my friends. It takes work, but I want you to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. I want you to walk and not be afraid, knowing, knowing that you're, this is what you were born to do, that what you are doing today is what you were born to do. That's where I want you to live. That's where I want you to walk. You're already starting to make some good decisions. You're in the Rise and Grind group. You're posting, you're commenting, surrounding yourself with positivity. You're doing all of these things, and I want you to know they're making an impact. They're making an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers, and they're making a massive impact on me and my entire family. So thank you so very much for that. I absolutely love you for it. I do. I absolutely stinking love you. If you need more videos like this, go to glennlundy.com. If you want some Rise and Grind gear, go to glennlundy.com. If you want to join me in Orlando, April 4th and 5th, go to hustlegrindcon.com. Hustlegrindcom.com slash houses. And you can stay in a house with me. We'll hang out for like three days. It's going to be incredible. Have an incredible day today, guys. And I will see you tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. with my man Joe Calla on hashtag Rise and Grind. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Stay well. Stay well. Stay well. Hashtag Rise and Grind. Hashtag Rise and Grind. First thing on my mind. Early in the morning time. Daily motivation. Feeling so divine. Waking up the nation, catch that rise and grind, catch that rise and grind, 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 catch that rise and grind. Sunrise, stepped into my greatness, feeling powerful and energized. Thankful to be alive. Hashtag blessed, write my mission, vision, values, and my gratitude list. I'm building up momentum, I'm making good decisions. I rise, I grind, I get it. Ain't no doubt that I'm committed, cause who really loses if I don't win? Can't cheat the grind, only get what you put in. So I'm mastering my mental. I'm focused on my physical. I'm developing spiritually and manifesting miracles. I'm gonna get it started, have a party in the morning. And I'ma wake the world, it's so alarm. And I have that rising grind. Hash that rising grind. First thing on my mind, early in the morning time. Daily motivation, feeling so.
so divine. Waking up the nation. Hashtag rising grind. Hashtag rising grind.